Hi, this is Armando with the Boxing Corner. Um, I'm talking about a fight um, that actually happened last night, but I actually um, got to watch the main event uh, this morning. It was on uh, NBC Sports Network. It was two fights, two heavyweight fights between uh, Bryant Jennings and Steve Collins. And then the main event was uh, Tomas uh, Adamek versus uh, Eddie Chambers. Um, it, it kind of um, it, it ended up being like on the same time slot as the HBO Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and Andy Lee fight, so I DVR'd the um, the entire fight with with Jennings, Collins, Chambers, Adamek. I saw the Jennings fight last night, but like I said, I just saw the Adamek and um, the Eddie Chambers fight now. Uh, it's early in the morning. Regardless, uh, talking about Brian Jennings and Steve Collins. Um, this is my first time seeing Brian Jennings fight. I've heard of him a couple of times in the past, so I, this is my first time checking checking him out to see you know what he has and what he can offer in the heavyweight division. The fight was pretty much very very one sided with you know for Brian Jennings. The Steve Collins guy, you can tell he was tough, but he was clearly outmatched. Brian Jennings had a much uh, aggressive, much more power to his his punch. And it was pretty much a 10-round affair of Jennings just having his way with him. His corner was saying, you know, you need to get this guy out of here. You need to get this guy out of here. You can tell he did try, but this uh, Collins, he, he can take a punch. He was getting hit with a lot of big shots, but you can tell you really got to... There, there are just some guys out there that they may not be up to par with certain other fighters, but they have a great chin, and they're going to last all 10 rounds. And for, to be honest, I'm, I don't know if Bryant has ever gone 10 rounds, but I think this was somewhat kind of good for him because it, it maybe build up his stamina, build up his confidence. Like, shit, I got to go 10 rounds with, with a guy from time to time if I can knock him out. And, and that kind of gives a little bit of, a, I guess, seasoning to him. Instead of out there knocking out guys in two or three rounds and he finally meets his match and he's got to go 10, 12 rounds and he's completely busted. But Brian Jennings did a really, really hell of a uh, hell of a job, and I'm definitely gonna be watching more of his fights now. Um, hope, you know, hoping that maybe he might fight a, a Klitschko, because um, the Klitschkos have just completely ran through the entire heavyweight division, and, and we need some uh, we need some more competition going up at him. I like the Klitschkos, but I want to see more competitive fights against them. Maybe Brian Jennings may one day be that competitor. Though I think maybe Vitaly might be on his way out in a, about a year or so. And Vlad's probably got another two or three years, maybe even more, under his belt. But Brian Jennings completely dominated uh, his fight with Steve Collins. Now, Eddie Chambers and Tomas uh, Adamek was a fight I was really um, looking forward to. I've seen Tomas fight Steve Cunningham. I've seen him fight, uh, and I've seen, I seen him fight, uh, who was it? Well, obviously the uh, Vladimir, no Vitaly, he fought Vitaly, or was it Vladimir? I don't know, but Eddie Chambers got knocked out by I think. Uh, you see both the guys, Chambers, and um, Chambers and Adam McFaul, fought the Klitschko brothers, and both lost. I'm not sure which one who fought who, to be honest. But regardless, um, you know Eddie Chambers, Tomas Adamic. Um, they start the fight. Um, it pretty much is. Um, it's it's a fight that's kind of hard to score because you have one fighter, Tomas, constantly throwing, very busy. Even though his punches aren't landing, he's just busier than Chambers. Chambers was kind of in the pocket, was throwing little, you know, two or three jabs and maybe a right and a left from time to time. So it's it's kind of difficult to judge a fight like that because if you got one guy landing. You know, seven to ten uh, clean punches. You know, throughout the span of the entire round. You know, you know, at random spots. But then you got a guy who's constantly kind of putting pressure, and is throwing though not landing very many as well. But it's just more busier, more active, throwing more. Adamek's punches were landing from time to time. You know, on the gloves or stuff like that. So it was kind of, it's kind of difficult to um to judge in my opinion because you know aggressiveness effective aggressiveness is very uh, important 
but then you know the cleaner uh, you know big shots as well are very important so you kind of have to tumble up and down and see what you know because each judge is different obviously but it was it was a 12 round affair um in the end they ended up giving it to uh, to, to uh adamic um the scorecards were were pretty wide um on one one of them was uh 119 109 the other one the other two were 116 112 for adamic so adamic won by a, a clean shoot i don't think the sh the fight should have been that uh that far apart because eddie chambers at times was uh throughout the fight was landing some good clean you know blows but just he was being outworked and it was a fight that was kind of getting on my nerves because the scoring was just like very just the way it was going like i said adamic was throwing a lot wasn't landing a lot but was more effective well not effective but more aggressive and chambers um was very um selective in his punches by the way uh, eddie chambers hurt his uh left hand sometime in the second or third round and it affected him he was pretty much fighting one armed but in the end it, they ended up giving it to adamic um he's still good he's still a good fighter i would have liked to see what he can do with two hands but in the end adamic won and you know i guess you know i just didn't like the scorecards i think i had um chambers winning by at least two rounds uh um, for me you know a round or two at best but it was it was a somewhat close fight based on on that but um um that's the way it goes i guess um Anyways, thanks for watching the Boxing Corner Desarmando, and uh, I'll see you next time.